In today's news for you, we hear about ACL tears often in humans, but dogs? Dr. Wendy King is at Spears Creek Veterinary Clinic, and it's not actually called ACL tears in dogs. Explain to our viewers what it is called and why. Well, most, most viewers might be familiar with an ACL mm -hmm. because a football player tends to, to get those, and lots of people watch football. Mm -hmm. In dogs, it's called a CCL. It's a cranial cruciate ligament. It's the exact same ligament. It's just a different nomenclature in dogs. Show our first picture there, and it's kind of hard to, to see there, but what we're looking at is a tearing of a ligament inside the knee joint. Mm -hmm. So you have the femur and then you have the, the um, tibia here. Femur and, and tibia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and what the ligament does is it keeps the, the uh, tibia from rotating forward. So if they tear it, then that tibia keeps rotating forward and the bones keep bump, bumping on each other and they get severe, severe arthritis when it happens. Show the second picture of the uh, dog who's holding his leg up. This is what I started seeing in one of my dogs. And then that's when I was concerned he might be suffering with this. So do most dogs that, that would give an indication that something's wrong do that, lift their leg like that? Yes, they do. That's the first thing that you see. And it, it seems like it's an acute injury in dogs, but a lot of times what they found um, in humans, it's an acute trauma, football mm -hmm. being tackled, or the ski injury that the lady right. had. But in dogs, it's actually a degenerative process where that ligament actually breaks down. And so it's been breaking down all along, and then all of a sudden, squirrel runs by, they run. And it, and it pops the rest of the way. How do we treat it? Because I've heard surgeries around $2,000 mm -hmm. to $2,500. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, that's the best, best thing to do is the surgery. There used to be a surgery that they could put a ligament, a suture kind of on the outside of the knee. And um, the problem was is that suture was breaking as well. So you just did a surgery on a knee and then the suture breaks. They now do the surgery where they actually take the whole head of the tibia and rotate it backwards. And they don't need the ligament anymore to keep the knee stable. But it's a very um, expensive, very invasive surgery. But they do fantastic with the with surgery. That. And then mm -hmm. as we wrap here, something like a medication, an anti-inflammatory, is that a possibility to avoid surgery? It helps in the meantime, but the surgery is the best thing because if, the, if it's going to scar down naturally, they get, they get raging arthritis, and, oh, and it wow. starts within usually about a year. All right. I know you've got questions for Dr. King <laughs> from that segment alone. Go to our website, wistv.com slash 4 p.m., and Dr. King will take any of your pet-related questions right now. Dr. King, thank you as always.